We're with Norman Reedus for his new movie, Air. You work with Robert, and you work with David Alpert, who is the producer on this. Um, was this one of those things where you're on set at The Walking Dead, and then Robert kind of goes, hey, let's have a little conversation about another project I'm working on, or did it come out another way? He ended up uh, giving me a phone call, mm -hmm. sort of the end of the last season, and saying, hey, can I talk to you about something? And I was like, oh, God, you're gonna, I'm going to get munched by zombies. <laughs> this is the call right here. Um, and he goes, no, no. He goes, I got a script I want you to read. And I was honored because, uh, you know, he, that he thought of me at all. But, um, it, you know, I, I, because I know him and Dave Albert, I, I, I knew that it would be something I would like. It would be of quality, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and plus I have a working relationship with them already and I trust them and we're friends. And, uh, you know, so it, was, it, it wasn't that hard to want to wanna read it. And uh, I don't know, I read it and it had such a claustrophobic feel to it that, uh, you know, I, I had like a physical reaction to it. I was like, Bleh, you know, and to, if, to feel something like that on the page to, to make you, and whether it be hate or joy mm -hmm. or whatever it is, uh, you hope that that ends up in the final editor of the film. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the path and the vision everyone's going for. And, and, um, and they were, and they put me in contact with Christian and Christian yeah. and I started FaceTiming each other and talking about the movie. And um, yeah, I just, I could tell everybody was on, you know, on the same page. Were you cast first and then Jaiman was um, cast? I mean, because it's a two-hander. I mean, it's it's really a two-guy piece. And so obviously feeling a great rapport and being able to kind of go back and forth with the other point of view in this film is really important. I think maybe Christian had both of us in mind at the same time maybe, and but maybe I went first. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. So with this piece, it's obviously so important. You guys are, you know, maintaining the last bits of humanity in these kinds of contained um, tubes, and stuff goes wrong. And you guys really representing, you know, opposing points of view in terms of sur survivor, their goal, their mission. Um, tell me a little bit about your character and what his point of view is, and what made it interesting to kind of have that back and forth. I mean, they 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 do the same job, but have different points of view. Um, totally. Uh, uh, Jaiman sort of has this hope for the future, his character does, and uh, he views himself as a scientist, and uh, I have the opposite. I, I feel like we're janitors in this place, and, and no one's ever going to call us. We're stuck here. What's the point? Uh, and I'm super sarcastic, and I'm, I'm just cracking jokes that I think are funny, and I'm just a jerk, you know, for most of it. Um, and then that changes. That, that, that There's a cat and mouse thing where the mouse becomes a cat and then a cat again and so forth and uh, it becomes this real psychological sort of uh, like like a like a torture game like this claustrophobic torture game and uh, uh, it, it, I don't know he and I get along really well John and I mm -hmm. and it was easy to work with him and get along with him and and he also has this sort of quality about him that he j he seems like this type of guy that there's an inner peace. Right, the zen he's kind of quality. He really has this zen quality, yeah, and and you know he's very th he he thinks w for long times before he speaks, you know, mm -hmm. where I'm just like blah, 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 you know, <laughs> so uh, we're pretty pretty perfectly cast in this. Yeah. The claustrophobia which you've talked about is is hugely important. However, you know you're not shooting it in that kind of claustrophobia. But how did you and Christian and Jaiman kind of figure out to keep an intensity so that you know, that you could get that feeling and that urgency and those moments that really pop in the film where you really are feeling that intensity because of the closed in surrounding. We shot in those circumstances. Really? We shot in a bunker. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, you know, you know, we, it, you could feel it. Yeah. And we shot it and it was full of equipment and full of people and yeah, this wasn't a sound stage. We, went, we went underground. Does, and it, I mean, does it add in terms of the performance? Oh, God, yeah, start? absolutely. You want to just crawl out, you know? Um, like, I don't know if I'd ever want to do a submarine movie, right. you know what I mean, yeah. for that reason, if you shot in a submarine. Um, uh, I mean, I can't, stand, I can't even stand in a line, you know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, um, it, we, we felt it. And, and it, you know, it, the film has a very high-tech meets low-tech look to it. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of high-tech equipment like wrapped in duct tape and put together last second, which mm -hmm. tells the story. So I like all that attention to detail and stuff. Yeah. Just taking over to Walking Dead really quickly, and you know, obviously, you're also dealing with a lot of survival, a lot of hope, uh, 
we also have the storyline with Alexandria this year where, you know, for the first time, Daryl actually seems like maybe he might feel a little attached, which is unexpected, um, with this group and in, in investing in some of the people that live there. Um, is, is that going to go away quickly, you know, with the with the continuation of the story this season, or what do you think? Yes. What, what do you think? I think Loner Daryl likes to be. <laughs> He's got his family, and that's all he needs. Yeah, this show's uh, really, really good at going here. Take this, take this uh, cup. Oh, psych. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. So uh, I'm sure that everything will go south sooner or later. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, even at the end of last season, it was, you know, Morgan comes back, and you know. There's Rick shooting a guy in the head, and they see each other for the first time again. And you know, right before that, you know, Carol and Rick and Daryl had a conversation on the porch where Rick is like, "If this, if this, if this community can't bend a little bit, we're just gonna take the community." So I, I'm assuming that when Rick's shooting the guy in the head, and here's Morgan, that Daryl's going, oh, "Let's take it. It's, it's on." You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure things will go south in that cute little town soon. Thanks so much, Norman. Oh, it's a pleasure.